What else? That's a horrible death. I don't know. I don't like this game anymore. All right. I'm gonna think. Of, I'm gonna come up with a list for next week. After I'm first, I'm gonna call Peta, <laughs> and then I'm gonna. <laughs> I, then, <laughs> I'm gonna First give him you're your address. Pee on me. No, my cat, my cat that goes and tells the neighbors will probably go tell on you anyway. Remember, I had cat protective services over here. I know the I little know. kid was here, so yeah. All my cats are looking at me now, and they think you're a cruel person. Listen, there's certain things, Amy, that I would flush. I'm You'd sorry, flush I would not no. try to find a home for my beta fish. I would flush it. You would flush a beta? They live 15 years. Well, yeah. So 15 it, year lifespan. Uh, it's got 15 years in the wherever the flush takes them. No, the flush kills them. <laughs> well, I just, that's how, that's very telling. No. Wow, well, the things we know about Cindy now. The things we know. <laughs> the things we know. All right. One time we had a goldfish that grew so big we couldn't even flush it. Good. <laughs> So we fried it up and ate it. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, you could eat it with a side of these pickle chips that just came out. Did you see these mm-hmm. that I sent you? Yeah, what do you think of those? I want to try them real bad. Vlasic is making their own pickle chips. And it's uh-huh. not like you think. It's not a potato chip that tastes like pickles. Mm-mm. It's actual chipped pickles. Pickles, yeah. In a bag. And I want them really bad. I want to try it, too. I want to have a piece of your pizza Yep. you guys make with my pickle chips. You guys mm-hmm. should probably stock these pickle chips when they come in. Oh, yeah, you're right. Now, see, aren't I a marketing genius? Send me the link. I will. Mm-hmm. I will. All right. See? Uh, I have one other product I want to talk about because it caught my eye on Facebook. Mm. And this is called Splendies. It's a it's an underwear company for women. Mm-hmm. Especially, especially large women. Yeah, I'm gonna post this on our social media because I thought they had a brilliant marketing campaign. Um, they showed a a, a person with with their full stretch marks on display. Mm-hmm. You know, kind kind of chunky and holding holding a toddler um, as a model with their new underwear on. And what it is, it's kind of an interesting marketing. Um, draw because they sell up sizes from sizes small to 4x and what it is is a subscription underwear service you sign up Mm -hmm. um i think for the year or maybe you can do it by the month not sure and you get a surprise pair of underwear in your size cute underwear Mm -hmm. um in the mail once a month and i just thought it was kind of a neat idea for a company you know Mm -hmm. rather than you know how it is for bigger women to find cute underwear right i know I don't care. I know it because my wife, you know. Do you want to, um... I think it's really cool. All right. Want to order uh, some for her? Well, maybe. It might be might be something uh, in the future that I do. Um, <laughs> you know, it's a little pricey because you got to pay for the whole year, you know, so... Mm. But, um, I applaud them for... I think it's well worth it for what you get. Right. Um, I applaud them for using the imperfect model. I'm, I'm going to share it right now to our page. And you can okay. Look okay. Also, uh, what about this woman who started a naked cleaning company? <laughs> yeah, I think it's But great. she's going to charge people on the uh, level of nakedness. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think that's a good idea. If mm-hmm. I could do that, then I probably would do that. Yep. And so. depending on the level of the nudity, she's just hired three guys. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, All uh, right. I mean, do you have to get special permits for that? I if you're going to be naked at somebody's house? Or, like, how do you prove it wasn't... You know, prostitution and all that stuff. So I don't know. Maybe this could be something in Vegas. It might be. Yeah, you might have to be in a special. So I shared the picture now on our Facebook page. You can look at the the Splendies and tell me what you think of that ad. I thought it was genius. Now, another sad uh, day. What about um, our Trivago guy got DWI? Trivago guy. Yeah, (laughs) Trivago guy was passed out. In traffic with his foot on the brake. I know. Move it. Kind of like. So he uh, received a DUI, the Travago guy. He seems so suave and cool. I know like it. He would never pull anything like that. I know. Well, here's his mugshot. He seems so worldly. and His mugshot. He, 
he still looks worldly, even as in his mugshot. No, he's like good looking. Take the, he has a good. Uh, he's a what do they call him? A silver fox. Yeah. Is that what the ladies think, call him? Right. Guys. Now, speaking Whatever. of drinking, uh, studies suggest fake smiling at work increases drinking habits. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like women are more sacked on this than guys. Mm-hmm. You know, don't you think women are more affected by yeah. the, mm-hmm. by having to fake smile mm-hmm. their way through the workplace? And then when they get home, they're like, "Screw that, we need a drink." Yeah, Sherry says it increases her. She does. Sherry doesn't really drink that often, but it increases her vaping. She said, "Oh so yeah, it does incre- yeah, she yeah, she does." So um, yeah, it increases her vaping. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, what about this guy? Oh, gosh. Man gets testicle trapped in an Ikea chair. You know what all I could think of when I heard that? You know, mm. they sell those meatballs at Ikea. He got his he got his meatballs chopped. Oh, the, the Swedish you know, the meatball! Swedish, he got his Swedish meatballs stuck in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wait, man gets testicle trapped in Ikea chair. Well, yeah. how do you think they get all those well, meatballs the for their so Swedish cold. meatballs? <laughs> That's how they harvest the That's Swedish. how they harvest their meatballs, Ball. duh. <laughs> I was trying to do a joke there. I'm like, wait, let there me redo this you in got a joke it. You form. got it. No, it makes yeah. sense now. Yeah. yeah, it's just this little stool, but there's there's little holes in the stool. Mm-hmm. Um for decoration, I guess, and uh, <laughs> some poor bastard sat on it. it. The bird that freaking killed a man in Florida. <laughs> a bird. I did read this one. A bird. I did read this one. Um, yeah, Tell this me. guy. He was like a breeder of these birds. Oh, it's called. Um, it's a large, flightless bird, uh, native to Australia, New Guinea. It's a uh, alachua. Alachua bird. Mm-hmm. Oh no, that's the county. Sorry, I got it. I got it wrong. Kasawari. I know it had a weird name. Yeah. Kasawari is the bird. Alachua County Fire Rescue is the one that responds to it. Um, I guess what happened was I actually read this entire article because I was like, "What the? How did right. that happen?" Right. Um, he slipped in the mud when he was caring for them, mm-hmm. and it just went ballistic and attacked him. So. Oh, I wonder why. Um, they're kind of mean birds. I'm not really sure why it was world's most dangerous bird. They have a 10 centimeter dagger like claw. Oh, and And they're they're most dangerous dangerous. birds. They're the most dangerous birds. I can't believe so. He was breeding these birds. Well, he was because, you know, a a lot of these um, wealthy people like to have exotic pets and that's what he was breeding them for. Yeah. So that's. That's crazy. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. Yeah. Well, maybe they should let those cassowaries out there to go after the uh, the snakes and those toads. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just let them loose, man. They're like uh, killing machines. Let the cassowaries take care of business down there in Florida. Men with beards. Oh, I saw this. Have one. more germs than dogs, according Thank you. to a new study. Thank you. I've always thought that. Yeah. I've always thought that, but was never, you know, Mm -hmm. sure. And they have a huge picture of this guy with a beard, and it looks so gross. Even people, even if you shampoo, so then there's people who say, well, I shampoo it, and I wax it, and I care for it. Even, they they even tested the clean beards, and the clean beards still have the bacteria in it. So it's not just because they're not washing it thoroughly. Even if you wash it. It's still all in there somehow. Uh, so gross. Good reason to be a lesbian. Uh, ah! Real good reason. <laughs> all right. It's, it's reason number something. You what know, do you so. think about this uh, marijuana that was found in it was Albany? Laced with fentanyl, and it was laced yeah. with fentanyl. They well, now wait. They, that is scary. No I wait. Mean, they found it in a parking lot. Oh. They found it in a parking lot? Three unconscious people in a car, and they, oh, and they found that okay. weed. 
So did they lace it themselves with fabric? Uh-huh. Or I'm sure they did. The people did? Uh-huh. You don't think there's like a mass bulk out there? Absolutely not. No drug. Oh, no one God. that smells weed, sells weed is Look going to waste that money to put fentanyl in it. Fentanyl's unless, very cheap. Fentanyl's cheap, though. Unless he's telling them. Like, oh, why would they want to try some know. fentanyl laced weed? No, I'm like, just yeah. not. <laughs> yeah, I do. Like yeah. that. Uh, a six year old kid um, used a marker to fake chicken pox so they could oh, get out of school. Right? Brilliant idea, except for the parents didn't fall for it. Oh, my God. They knew. She didn't want to go to school. And so she, she went and got a red marker and put red dots all over her herself. <laughs> <laughs> it was all over her hands. They were oh, perfect. They called her. They yeah. They called her bluff though. They knew. It. I guess the parents knew it was fake from the get go. Mm-hmm. But as soon as they told her she had to go to the doctor, she ran upstairs and tried to wash it all off, but she couldn't because it was permanent marker. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! And gosh. I guess the parents are just laughing because they knew. Um, yeah, they knew it was fake. Um. And then she tried to change her story and say she was worried that her classmates would make fun of her now that she had done this to herself. But her parents stood by their stood by it and made her go to school with the red marks all over her. <laughs> she put on herself. Yeah. Her teachers thought it was hilarious and she told she told her class and everybody what she did so it wouldn't start a mass hysteria um at school, but um I guess the parents used some hairspray, and four days later, they finally got all the fake red dots off her body. So, <laughs> <laughs> Well, some heroes don't wear capes. And oh. uh, I have a show April 27th, uh, Spring Breakdown at Comedy at the Carlson. I am also going to be at Bathtub Billy's on Wednesday night with uh, The Zone doing stand-up. So if anybody out there listening wants to come check me out, come up and say hello, and uh, I'll be doing comedy, and don't heckle me. (laughs) (laughs) All right, Amy. All right, everyone. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.